Okay, wow, that was a, wow, that was a really good pinch. Ooh, ow, that stinks. Ouch, ooh, woo, 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 woo. Wow, actually, wow. Go. Ouch, <laughs> ow. Oh, man, take a look. Ooh, ooh, ow, ow, wow. Ooh. Um, but yeah, you can certainly see already my skin is inflamed. You can see it's almost all the way out here. So it'll be very, very interesting to see the effects of this bike. Hey everybody, Jack here from, you guessed it, Jack's World of Wildlife. And I'm here today with a very special disclaimer. So it's sort of been brought to my attention that there may be some viewers and maybe even some larger governing powers that don't quite understand the precautions and safety parameters that the sting and bite videos find themselves embedded in. So a lot of it you don't see on camera, but uh, we do quite a lot of research, we do quite a lot of preparation, and we do quite a lot of study before we actually, we, the royal we, before I actually go through the process of being bitten or stung by any type of animal. Why do we do this? To be safe. Despite what you might believe my channel to be, this is not a pain ranking, uh, dangerous stunt channel. This channel, these sting and bite videos, the mission is to help demystify some of these creepy crawlies, help, help kind of de demonize these animals, show you that they're not aggressive, that they're not as bad. And even if they were to bite or sting you, it's not nearly as horrible as you might think that it would have been. In addition to having advice and guidance from our team of experts, I am also equipped behind the scenes with adequate safety equipment like this here EpiPen case full of two very real EpiPens. Now, I do this to make sure that I'm safe and that these are controlled experiments. And even in cases where we'll say the actual event was maybe a little more dramatic or severe than I was expecting, we're still within those safety protocols and I'm not in any real danger. And if I even was to become in danger, we have plenty of protocols to follow in the case of that worst case scenario. So hopefully this gives you a little bit more of a window into exactly what all goes into filming these sting and bite videos. Just know, this is me, uh, this is a video f well after the fact of any of these top five uh, bites. So don't worry about me, I'm perfectly healthy, I'm perfectly fine, I sustain no serious damage, and I honestly wouldn't do videos that I thought were actually really going to detrimentally either affect my immediate health or affect me in the long run. So don't sweat it, don't worry, nobody's seriously getting hurt on this show. We're just out here to prove what these animals are actually about and what their stings and bites might in case. So uh, without any further ado, please enjoy this video and uh, keep all these things in mind as you're watching. My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and dangerous animals. My goal? To show the world that even the most bizarre or perhaps even deadly life forms on Earth deserve both our respect and our appreciation. Now this mission has pushed me to the extreme through a particularly painful series of bite tests. I do these tests to showcase how these animals would much rather avoid us than waste their precious venom biting for no reason. Of course, when they do feel threatened, many species are capable of delivering a wicked bite that even I can have a difficult time with. In today's video, we will be taking a look at my top five worst and most painful bites I've endured over the years. And of course, ranking one bite above all. Curious to see how these tests line up? Let's take a look. At number five on my list sits the bold jumping spider. Safe to say, I was absolutely shocked 
that the bite from this little jumper was as painful and as intense as it was. Not to mention the inflammation and itchiness was out of this world and lasted what seemed like forever. This bite easily makes the list at number five. So let's take a look at the bite of the bold jumping spider. All right, I've taken off my backpack. I've unsheathed myself and I'm ready to test the bite of this spider. <laughs> that sounded really bad. <laughs> Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Do you see, can you see those fangs? Mm-hmm. Oh, those are nice fangs there. Take a look at that, folks. Those are good size. You can see they pinch outwardly in. All right, you ready? Let's take a look. Phytopus aldax, the bold jumping spider. Let's go. Ouch! <laughs> Ow! Hey, that's not very sweet. Look at that. Oh, man. Woof! Woof! <laughs> Good job, cutie. Ouch, that kind of stung. That kind of bong. That got me bonked. Wow, that was impressive. See my arm shaking? <laughs> wow, that was quite impressive, cutie. Oh too cool we'll let her get back over here goodbye there she goes but look at this folks you can see right there it's where those fangs went in sorry i'm a little shaky that was impressive that was quite the sting that felt almost like a maybe a little um wasp or yellow jacket it was uh pretty substantial for a full defensive bite from that uh jumping spider so i'm really impressed you can see it's starting to get red it's a little tight there but uh, yeah, wow, that was uh, pretty good. Now coming in at number four is North America's largest assassin bug, the wheel bug. These monstrous insect hunters are equipped with a sharp rostrum that they use to pierce the bodies of their invertebrate prey. Of course, in a pinch, they can use this same piece of equipment to deliver an excruciating defensive bite. The digestive slurry they inject can cause cell and tissue damage, as well as searing hot pain and inflammation. Let's refresh our memories on the wheel bug bite. Oh, he's starting to inject juices right now. Okay, well, we're gonna see how bad this creature hurts, but look at that, how bizarre. Here we go. Ooh, ow, that stings. Ouch, ooh, woo, 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 woo. Wow, actually, wow. I'm really surprised by that. That's really bad. That's a really bad sting. That's like paper wasp level, I'm surprised. And my arm already, already feels pretty tight. Look at that. Wow, I'm impressed, buddy. And now I'm getting destroyed by mosquitoes, too. Ooh, look at that. Youch. Ow, man, that's impressive. Look at that. He really got me. Ooh, oh, hey. <laughs> now, one of the sad things about uh, having really heavy armor on your forewings is that you don't fly very fast or very well at all. And that's why he wasn't able to quite make his escape just yet. But look at that. I'm very surprised that that hurt that much. This was like a Polistes bite. Look at that. And I'm bleeding under the skin there. That's impressive. I'm impressed. And once they find prey, they will inject it with that sharp mouthpiece. Whoa, look at that. Like what exactly what it did to me right here. Inject with that digestive enzymes and juices to start to dissolve the soft tissue inside that insect to then suck it through that straw-like appendage. Look at this, folks. Huge, huge epicenter here. Lots of inflammation. The wheel bug has definitely earned its place on the list of insects that I have quite a lot of respect for. That's pretty good. 
I'm impressed, I gotta say. The wheel bug has impressed me. Definitely not one of the most painful insect stings in the world, um, but definitely up there in terms of what you could run into here in the United States. So really, really cool. Thank you. Lovely wheel bug. At a very appropriate number three spot is the infamous brown recluse. During my second test of this spider's bite, I received a massive envenomation from a large female, which resulted in mild necrosis, aka tissue death, as well as a plethora of interesting systemic symptoms. Although these spiders have a nasty reputation, I believe it is almost entirely ill-deserved. What happens during an extreme brown recluse envenomation? Watch and see. Once again, Loxacelles reclusa, the brown recluse, in my opinion, a relatively harmless spider. I don't find these to be medically significant really in any capacity. And there are those that would disagree with me. But from personal experience, from anecdotal experience, I have seen nothing that would warrant the re reputation that these spiders have. I think Stop you're it. Doing more damage with the container than the spider will do. <laughs> oh, the container's really getting me, folks. Oh, man. Oh, 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 definitely worse than a tarantula hawk. Oh. No, I don't want to hurt you. Oh. Ooh, oh, was that a little pinch? Oh, come on, get in there. Oh, okay, wow, that was a, wow, that was a really good pinch. Ow. Huh. All right, I'll let you go. Ooh, interesting. See, there's a little bump now where she got me good envenomation i actually felt it which i'm surprised make sure simple wound care that's all you got to do okay now i will note should you believe you've been bitten by a brown recluse and in actuality have a horrible gangrenous bacterial infection that is super far along please seek medical help this is not a video to excuse actual serious bacterial infections that could become life-threatening or threatening of a limb, please go to the doctor. But in terms of actually, truly what happens with a brown recluse spider bite, stick around and we're gonna find out. Nice and juicy. This should be day 11, I think, the blister is no more and honestly oh gosh sorry oops 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 sorry new camera um day 11 it's just kind of numb on this kind of red area and then the rest is kind of what is not super painful or anything I was hoping we might see a little bit of necrosis so I could show that to you guys, but I do not have high hopes. Take a look at that, folks. Pretty gnarly, huh? Now, I have not needed to take any prescription antibiotics or go to the doctor or go to the emergency room or do anything other than how you might treat a mild body flu, um, which is going to be typical um, in the treatment of a severe Loxacelles reclusa envenomation, much like this one. Now, I will mention, should you experience severe necrotic cavities developing in your skin or in or around your person, please go to the doctor. Just because I'm saying brown recluses are harmless does not mean that whatever people call brown recluse bites are not indeed dangerous. These are likely extremely rampant bacterial infections that do need to be addressed immediately. So not the poor fault of our lovely little spiders here, but rather nefarious bacteria. So once again, take a look at that. 
not really any other symptoms other than this little patch here. So I'm gonna just still keep it clean, keep it good, but I have a feeling that we are circling the finish line. Long time no see, folks. Sorry I haven't been updating, it's just been boring. It's not really done much other than heal now. Uh, this is day 23. So as you can see, almost fully healed up. Looks like there'll be some mild scarring, but we didn't really get to see any of that black rotting necrosis that so many attribute to these brown recluse spiders. Of course now the planes choose to fly overhead and the dog chooses to shake for my lovely audio, but Super, super interesting. Um, not really as serious as many would lead you to believe. For our second to last stop, we head to the beautiful forests of Southern Florida in search of the Caribbean giant centipede. This bite was easily one of the most immediately painful bites I've ever received. And although the effects didn't last too long, it's still a bite that will blow your socks off. Maybe I'll try some more giant centipedes in the future. But until then, let's take a look at the bite of the Caribbean giant centipede. I don't usually get uh, my adrenaline pumping quite this much with, with bites and stings, but as you can see, I'm already pretty shaky. This is my first giant centipede bite. And uh, surprisingly, I'm not entirely looking forward to it. I've put off giant centipedes for a while. I've handled uh, my fair share now, but uh, I'm ready to um, I'm ready to finally jump into the deep end and try and get this giant centipede to bite me. Oh man, take a look. Ooh. Wow, 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 ouch, oh, <laughs> woohoo, come here cutie, yowzer, ah, woof, come take a look folks, look at the damage done, oh, take a look at that, that's those maxillopeds at work there, you can see some bleeding under the skin, that was definitely a more severe envenomation, oh, Son of a nutcracker! Ow! Okay, because at first I was thinking that wasn't that bad. And the mosquitoes are just adding insult to injury. Well, there you have it. Scolopendra alternans, the largest and I guess probably the most venomous centipede in Florida. The smaller, but not by much, cousin of Scolopendra heroes, the desert and red-headed centipedes. Um, that was pretty stinking painful. Uh, I'm very impressed. That's at least one, two, three bites there. Um, very impressive, very impressive. I don't know that I would Man, it's still going. I mean, not not as kind of flash in the pan like a, like policies like a, like a paper wasp sting. I don't feel like it was initially as severe, but potentially initially as severe as Vespa tropica, the greater banded hornet. Um, especially these two bites when it really dug in there. Um, wow, that was pretty stinking good. Of course, it should come as no surprise that the reigning champion of not just the top five bites, but of all my bites and stings to date is the iconic Black Widow. The amount of suffering I endured in the aftermath of this test puts every other painful experience in my life to shame. The crushing aches an excruciating, radiating pain gripped my body for well over 10 consecutive hours. And even once peak pain subsided, it took weeks for me to feel like my regular self. 
This is the only bite that ever actually made me consider quitting bites and stings altogether. But of course we all know I couldn't stay away for that long. Without any further ado, I present the Black Widow Bite. Now what I have in this little plastic container is Latrodectus mactans, which is more commonly referred to as the Southern Black Widow. Now this is a little female here, and we are going to show you all what exactly all the Black Widow bite encases. Where'd it go? Still on me? Yeah. Oh, it's hanging down. There we go! All right, so without further ado, I think, I think we're getting ready to try the Black Widow bite. Whew. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is Hopefully our lighting is good, our angles are good, and we, I'm going to try and give the cameraman a little bit of a heads up, a little bit of a heads up. Is that a bite? Oh, yep, okay, I felt it there. Going to see if she, oh, yep, okay. Okay. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, that does hurt a little bit. Yeah, look, look, you can see that her fangs are inside of me there. Oh, there she goes, she released. All right, so she bit me right there. I will say not immediate pain, but it is definitely starting to roller coaster. Yeah, is she in focus for you? Mm-hmm, perfect. It's pretty decent envenomation for a Black Widow. Again, I said, bite's in secret. Typically, the bite is not very painful. I did experience a little bit of a pinch, pretty similar to the brown recluse bite uh, that we experienced just a few uh, months prior. Um, but yeah, you can certainly see already my skin is inflamed. You can see it's almost all the way out here. So it'll be very, very interesting to see the effects of this bite. Look at that. There's the bite. Can't deny that, YouTube. That's the real thing right now. All of our bite and sting videos are done in one take. Don't bite me on the finger. Easy. Um, and that is because... I believe in authenticity. I'm not going to put on a show for you guys. I'm going to tell you, that stings. Oh, oh, easy, easy. Shh, shh. What are you doing? <laughs> she was trying to, I guess, maybe bite me on the finger, but my skin is too thick. Um, it is getting pretty painful now. I'd say, honestly, at this epicenter, probably almost as bad as a, as a bullet ant, maybe. I mean, it is pretty painful. And again, that's because of the neurotoxin. If you remember from the bullet ant, that venom is just telling my brain, ow, 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 ow. So it's not really doing a whole lot of damage. It's just going to be affecting my nervous system a little more um, and, a, and more of an extreme kind of bite because it is going to do a little bit more to me. Um, I think that's the full extent of what it's going to do right now. Uh, so we will go ahead and head back to relax in air conditioning, not outside. And... Um, I'll be updating on the bite um, as I see fit. So, it's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. My back hurts. I can't really walk, so I'm gonna lay down. I'll go lay down. Um, swelling's down. This should just be the pain taking its course, but. How bad does it hurt? Like. On a scale like one to ten? Yeah. <laughs> probably like probably like a nine. Okay, so we're at about four and a half hours and it is pretty much excruciating pain. Uh, I cannot sleep. I cannot lay down. Um it's and you can see it's a little bit red see that on the camera um, my lower back is just killing me my joints are killing me uh, I mean it's pretty painful um, I will update tomorrow but yeah it's probably I mean as far as like full body pain probably the worst pain out of any bite or sting I've had so it's pretty bad, but uh, I mean, what you gonna do? 
Uh, it's not gonna kill me, but just don't get bit by Black Widow. They won't bite because they're docile, but if you do get bitten, get like <laughs> pain meds or something because, whew, let me tell you, it is a roller coaster, a rodeo, if you will. Uh, but, um,. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get some water and lay back down, but uh, lay back down, but um, it's pretty bad. So I'll update tomorrow. Hopefully, all this will be gone and my body will have bounced back from the brink because this is no boy no. Okay, team. So uh, it's been about 28 hours after the initial bite you can see right there still pink um all in all long story short it's terrible um i had to take ibuprofen i had to take painkillers i was pretty much in bed all day today um could barely sleep um i did not have to go to the hospital but um, it was pretty painful. Again, like I mentioned before, um, that's most likely due to the fact that it was latching on for so long. Uh, typically, Blackwood is just gonna bite and release, but again, I thought this one was a little too small, so I was trying to make sure that it did envenomate me, um, and I ended up getting probably about two or three times the amount I would have normally gotten. So, that being said, um, my uh, symptoms probably lasted a lot longer. Well, here it is. My top five most painful bites all in one place. I know a lot of you have been wanting a sting and bite index for my channel, and I promise it's something I am working to create. I have a few more things I'd like to check off my list, and then I'll be setting my sights on articulating that index for you all. Now, I hope you enjoyed seeing my personal top five most painful bites. I sure did enjoy filming them for you all, at least most of them. Now, although these animals might seem scary or dangerous, I just want you all to know that each and every one of them had to be forced to bite me. Yes, some of these animals are potentially dangerous, but only when they feel the need to defend themselves. If we give them the respect and the space they deserve, we find that we secure safety for ourselves and our lovely little friends. The goal of my channel is to open the eyes and the minds of people to these types of animals and show them that they are not sinister villains seeking to harm us at every turn, but that they are important animals that serve a vital role in maintaining the health of their respective ecosystems and our planet as a whole. The cure to fear is education. So please go easy on our fellow earthlings they are doing all they can to survive and thrive, the same as anyone or anything else. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next week with the next upload. Until then.